Welcome back. Now we have some pictures that were sent into our eyewitness portal and we can share them with you now. Let's begin with this photo, if we can have them. We want to begin with a photo of a broken electricity pole hanging dangerously from a loose cable. Ah, there it is. Our eyewitness reporter calls on the relevant authorities in just the Plateau State Capital to fix it. Similar to that one is this photo showing a bent electricity pole on Adebowale Street in Ojodu area of Lagos State. And this photo was sent in from the Ozora area of Delta State. It shows this overloaded motorcycle. Our eyewitness reporter calls on road users to adhere to traffic regulations. And here's one showing the impact of erosion along this road in the Brinin Kebi area of Kebi State Capital. Our eyewitness reporter wants the government to intervene before it gets worse. Let's end with this photo showing a bad road, and it's from the Ibuku Onisha Road in Anambra State. Our eyewitness reporter wants the government to fix it. Airtel, the smartphone network. We're always happy to receive your pictures. Do send us some more. Let's cross over now to our sports studios, and here's Charles Eruka. Welcome to Sports News. Germany have defeated Nigeria 2-0 in the men's football semi-final to end the African champions' hopes of winning a gold medal at the Rio Olympics. Lukas Klostermann shot the Germans into the lead in the ninth minute before a clinical finish from tournament top scorer Niels Peterson earned the Europeans a place in the final. Nigeria can win a bronze medal if they beat Honduras in the third place match on Saturday while Germany will face host Brazil in the gold medal match. Well, Nigeria's dismal run at the 2016 Olympic Games continues as three wrestlers crashed out in the early rounds. Hannah Rubin lost 4-1 to Canada's Dorothy Yates in the women's freestyle 69 kilograms, while African gold medalist Aminat Adeni was defeated by Petra Oli of Finland in the women's freestyle 58 kg. Elsewhere, Mercy Genesis was soundly beaten 5-0 by Poland's Ivona Matkowska in the women's freestyle 48 kg, leaving Nigeria with four wrestlers competing for medals in Rio. That's it on Sports News, and it's back to Ijoma with the rest of the news at 10. Thanks a lot, Charles. Protests in the Guinean capital have turned violent as one man was shot dead by police and several others were injured in the incident. The opposition says at least 700,000 people were out on the streets attending a major rally organized by Selu Diallo. The security minister, Abdul Kamara, said the violence had broken out late in the afternoon, leading to the police intervention in which gunshots caused one injury and one fatality. The protests were targeted at President Alpha Conde's government, whom they blame for the country's current economic hardships, including high youth unemployment. The protesters want the president to use his second term in office to intensify the fight against impunity, strengthen the judiciary, and promote equal respect for the rights of all Guineans. The political crisis in South Africa is deepening as the leader of the economic freedom fighters, Julius Malema, says his party will be voting with the Democratic Alliance of in the mayoral elections in three South African cities, crushing the ANC's chances at the polls. With the announcement, the African National Congress could lose control over the commercial capital, Johannesburg, despite winning the highest number of votes there in August the 3rd local government elections with an outright majority. At a press briefing in Alexandria, Malema said he had harbored no grudge against President Jacob Zuma, but he wanted him out of power because he was costing South Africa too much with corruption. 
And the main news again. The People's Democratic Party today extended the tenure for Ahmed Makarfi's caretaker committee by one year. The decision was taken at the party's National Executive Committee meeting following its inability to hold a full convention in Port Harcourt. Also today, the factional chairman of the PDP, Ali Modu Sharif, dismissed the exercise in Port Harcourt, describing it as a huge joke. Mr. Sharif insisted that it contravenes the party's constitution. And the police in Guinea today shot one man dead in the country's capital, Conakry, after anti-government protests turned violent. And that's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks a lot for staying with us. I'm Ijoma Kunyato. Do have a good night.